stabilizing video based on subject. Caden Live has this cool feature where you can track the subject and uh, stabilize your video with it. So here is a little video showing how this feature works. First, I import some footage with a very energetic dragonfly. And as you can see from this footage, it's quite uh, difficult to track with a camera. So it does move around in the frame somewhat. And it would be great if I could focus on that one object, track that, and just let the rest of the, uh, of the frame move around, yes? So once I've selected the area that I'm interested in, I drag it onto the timeline you'll see here in a minute. So the first step to do this tracking stabilization is to find the motion tracking uh, effect and apply that. So if you click on the video icon it shows you all the effects for video and then you can apply the motion tracking effect to your video clip on the timeline and you need to adjust the square so it covers the the object that you want to track once you've done that you can click on analyze and just just let it run its course Now that it's uh, fully analyzed the video, if you play through it frame by frame, you'll see the square is actually following the object. On this particular video, it, uh, it fell off the end there. You can see tracking was lost. So rather than mess around with it too much, I'll just trim off the end. The rest of the video is perfectly usable and explains how this thing works. Yeah, so once you're happy that the square is actually tracking, you can just copy the uh, position information from the square onto the clipboard and then apply a transform effect to the same clip. Then paste in the information, select inverse position, center, and then center of the square. So once you've applied this you'll see it actually moves around the footage based on the tracking of the square so now the square will stay center and the actual footage is moving now of course you may not want the the black edges on there and the easiest way to get rid of those is just to zoom so i'll just apply another effect on top of this just to uh, zoom in a little bit uh, it's quite easy to do here we go add the effect and then just plainly zoom in the touch uh, this monitor is a little bit small so you can't really see all the effects lined up uh, it's nice to to be able to minimize them oh there's still a little area that uh, that's not zoomed in enough Let's just check the whole video, make sure that we don't have any unwanted black bits. Yeah, we'll, we'll add some here. Just adjust the zoom up a little bit. Uh, with keyframes, you can actually adjust the zoom, give yourself a little bit more of a dynamic zoom. Uh, it's outside of the scope of this demonstration. But there you go, you can see we are tracking the dragonfly quite nicely. Now to stop the red square from showing up, just set its width to zero pixels. And then we should be good enough for a render.
There you go. The final product, of course. Uh, I'll play it again for you just to get rid of all the overlays. Thanks so much for watching and uh, comment below if you like.